Thomas's Wooden Adventures, Episode 21, Steaming Trouble. It was a cloudy morning on the island of Sodor. All the engines were looking forward to a hard day's work ahead of them. But Adam wasn't feeling too good. Oh, good grief. My boiler. What's the matter, Adam? I don't know. I've never felt like this before. Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to be looked over? I'll just see how the day goes. Very well, then. So Adam tried to leave the shed, but then he stopped, hissing from his cylinders. Good grief! Well, that's gone and done it. You've blocked us all in except for Lewis. What's wrong? As I say, I don't know, but I'll be looked over. I'll tell you what, I'll get you to the works, said Lewis. So he buffered up to the old radial tank and puffed away. Hmm. I've got no idea what's up with him, but it doesn't sound good. I'll go and check on him at the works later, okay? I'll let you know what I find. All right, Colin, stay safe now. You too, Thomas. Lewis shunted Adam into the works. The two said their farewells as Lewis puffed away. The fat controller later came to visit Adam. How are you feeling? Oh, just a bit, I don't know really. A bit stuffed up. Hmm. When was the last time you had a boiler replacement? Hmm. About 12 years ago. Good grief, you're overdue. I am? Yes, and by a long shot, too. You'll need a replaced boiler. Really? But surely the workmen would know. I'll speak with them. We'll see what they think's best. Very well, then, sir. <sighs> Later, the fat controller returned. It was bad news. Well, let's put it this way, Adam. I don't think we'll be able to fix this. No, it's not metal fatigue. No, of course not. You don't have metal fatigue. You're in perfect working order. But we've spoken to your owners and other people, and we've decided that it's best if you are retired. What? No, I don't know. Not, we're not retiring you from service fully, but you'll be reduced to lighter duties until we can think what's best for you. We understand that you want to keep working, but it's unlikely. Very well then, sir. If that is what you wish. There's a good engine. Right, you're fine to go. All right, sir, very well. So Adam left the works distraught that he may not be able to do his normal work again. Adam backed down into Natford Station, where Croven was, collecting the governor. You are right there, Adam? Ugh, no. What's the matter? Well, I'm going to be retired from service, or at least mainline service. And that's nothing to worry about. I've been retired for ages now. Fair enough, but I don't want to give up like this. Look, the fat controller knows what's best for us. I take his word for it. I guess you're right. Hey, maybe you could be a private engine or something like that. Maybe so. I'll see you later, Adam. You too, Croven. Goodbye. And so the private engine left the station, leaving Adam thinking what to do. That night at Wellsworth Sheds, the three engine, the three Wellsworth and Suttery engines were talking. So what's the matter then? Said Lily. Is it bad? Said Colin. Yes, I'm going to be retired from service soon. Oh, we're so sorry to hear that. But Colin looked angry. That's preposterous, said Colin. For goodness sake, I'm older than you. And so's Lily. Well, yes, but still, I suppose I have been steaming poorly lately. You two are still in good service. Oh, yes, but it's not fair. Surely though, a good overhaul will sort you out. Lily, I'm 149. Yeah, I'm 153, 
Colin's 157. I guess you're right. Of course I am. Of course, you know, I've always been there for you. The engines smiled to each other. But Adam still looked distraught. So what do you think I should do then? Well, if they retire you, will you stop completely? Or what? Well, there are lots of different openings for me. I could either be a private engine for the fat controller, I could be sold to a heritage railway, or even a railway museum. So what have you chosen? I've chosen to remain as a privatised engine. So you won't be owned by Soda anymore? In a way... <coughs> Adam began coughing violently. In a way, no. But still... Adam didn't look very good. I think it's time, Adam. You should retire. Really? Yes, said Colin. After all that you've done, you've survived two wars, and you've well deserved it. I think it's time, Adam. <sighs> Maybe so.